Hello, and welcome back to Bridget's Queen's Crochet and Knits, and welcome aboard to all of our new friends that have recently joined the channel, and thank you very much. Today I wanted to come, I know it hasn't been very long since the last time I've seen you, but I've gotten a few things done and I wanted to share them. I was so excited that uh, Miss Pamela from Pamela's Adoring Crochet emailed me and asked me to test her new pocket shawl pattern, and I did that. And I really enjoy the pattern. I will uh, in some, insert some pictures right here. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't stand up and show you... Um, in video like I normally do but I am experiencing some major swelling which is making it rather hard for me to breathe hopefully this will fix itself in the next few days but it does also make it very hard to stand up or walk around as my feet hurt very bad not making excuses just uh, letting you know that you know I'm experiencing a little difficulty, so I had to do things a little differently this time. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Pamela, for asking me to test this pattern. I really enjoyed it. Um, I did do a slight modification, as Pamela suggested, use a 6.5. The biggest I have is a 6.0, as I don't really like big hooks, so I got rid of all of them because they hurt my hands. I generally don't even use a... 6.0 when I don't have to but since it was the closest I had to the pattern recommendations that's what I used I also steam blocked for the very first time with this pattern it was very beautiful when I got done but there was a couple areas that I wasn't liking how it kind of curled a little bit on me and that was probably just me um, using the smaller hook so I did pin it out and uh, steam block that and um, it absolutely lays beautifully now. Um, it's the perfect length for me as I'm only five foot two. So using the 6.0 for me was actually a wonderful thing because it put the pockets exactly where I would like them. But <clears throat> okay. Moving on, sorry, <laughs> I'm gushing a little bit, I'm sorry Pamela, don't mean to make you, you know, blush or anything, um, but I will link down below where you can find the tutorial for this pattern, you can also purchase it on Etsy or go to Pamela's website, all of that will be linked in the description box. And then, after I got done making this wonderful pattern, I decided to get involved with helping out a little guy that is um, Crochet Me Pink Kelly is trying to help out. She talked about it in her latest live, and I will link that below too. There is a little fella that is in a wrestling camp very, very far from home. He's from a very warm state, and he is now located in a very cold state. And uh, he doesn't really have a lot of warm items to wear or cover himself up with. And so I decided beans that we don't know his exact head measurements that I would knit him a hat beans that knit fits better on a wider variety of head sizes than crochet does so I decided to make him this and for the first time ever my decreases came out absolutely perfect I was very proud of myself and red is little Dylan's very favorite color so that's why I chose that it's just some red heart super saver I know that will keep him nice and warm. <clears throat> After I done finished that, I recently celebrated an anniversary with my husband, the King, and uh, his favorite childhood cartoons was Snoopy, you know, Peanuts. He loves Snoopy and Woodstock, so I decided to make him a little Woodstock, and Woodstock does stand up on his own. As you can see, he is standing on my hand. <clears throat> this is other side this was a very fun pattern I did find this pattern along with Snoopy in a paid for pattern but since I finished him I did find a Woodstock pattern for free I will link 
the paid for pattern and the uh, free woodstock pattern in the description box below so that you can find that. This again was just some red heart super saver, oh, red heart with love, sorry. And just a little bit of black from red heart super saver that I had on hand. I have Snoopy's head done and I'm going to continue working on him tonight. Hopefully I'll be able to finish that in the next day or so. I um, did get an acquisition, rather, although I am rather upset. I ordered a buy one get one free from um, Knit Crate. And I ordered two. Well, I got two, but two didn't show up. The buy one, get one free. Um, so hopefully that will be here in the next day or two. Although I don't understand why it didn't get put in one package. I am sending Nick Crate an email about that to figure out what is going on. But I will let you look at this one. And I will talk to you about this. This is 100% organic Pima cotton. DK weight, 266 yards. It is machine washable on gentle cycle and lay flat to dry. The colorway is Hustle. I was hoping to make a top out of this, although I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to find a pattern that I can only, only use two since the other two didn't show up. Well, that's all I have for you today, and I'll be seeing you again shortly. Thank you to everyone that has liked and subscribed and commented. And if you happen to like my content, I would love it if you decided to become one of our friends. And uh, we'll see you later. Until then, happy crafting. Bye-bye.